Oh yeah, don't mind me. Just, just hanging out at the Oscars. Yep. You know, decided to watch this whole video and take track sounds tips, and here I am now, so. Tell the truth. Okay, okay, I'm lying. It's not that easy, but I got some good tips and some good sites to help you try to get some film and TV or whatever kind of placement syncs you want. Let's get into it. What's up everybody, it's Track Sounds here, multi-time billboard charting music producer and music marketing expert, here to give you some tips on TV and film sync placements. It's one thing that everybody asks a lot of questions about and I always get a lot of good response when I talk about this. So as you can see, I'm in my big lavish studio right now. Um, it's just, uh, this is a, there's a lot of bills going on, a lot of electricity bills. So please like, comment, subscribe to help me pay some of these big old bills I got going on. I'm trying out some new setup as you can see upgrading a lot of stuff recently and you've been following the channel for a while about to really grow but i do have a question of the day is have you ever submitted anything for c sync tv or film wise or commercials or anything else like that if not what are some th what are your thoughts about it and, and what are you going to do moving forward to help you get to that place so so let me know in the comments below and we're gonna get in these tips and tricks that i got for you so i'm just going to give some blanket techniques at first that are great ways to network with some of these music directors and are great ways to kind of get your foot in the door. There's a few techniques that I've used for different ways to get my placements with TNT, Viceland, NBA, Sprite, a whole bunch of other things like that. And at the end of the video is where I'm gonna give you the websites and some of the music catalogs you should check for. So you gotta watch all the way through, sorry. So my first tip is do not spam them. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Build genuine engagement with some of these people. And my second tip, make sure your music is ready. If your music is not up to par with some of the stuff you hear on TV or you don't even have the type of music that you may think fits for TV, you know, that's debatable, then keep working on your craft. But make sure your music is ready. No demos or scratch takes. These are real legit songs that you've already mixed and mastered. If it's already out, that is fine. You might need to make a version that with what's called a stinger ending. This is not just a fade out or anything like that. If you listen to a lot of TV and film music, they'll have a drum roll heading out, or they'll end with like a reverb or something like that. Something that is a more dramatic style ending. So if you don't have this type of ending to your song and it's already out, you might have to make a version like that and use a private SoundCloud link if the song isn't released or you know, in general, private SoundCloud links are great. My next tip is make sure you research the company that you're trying to send to or get affiliated with. They might have different styles of music that they look for. And you can get a good feel by looking at some of their pages, what they may be looking for to when they shop around to different places or to, to fit inside their catalog. You never know till you ask though. So. That's good. so my next tip is any website or company you're interested in, go to their website, check to see if they take submissions. If you don't see anything about submissions, hit them up on their page. They usually have a contact page and ask, is there a specific email for that? The next step after that, if that fails, is type in the company name with Instagram or Twitter on Google or something like that with one of those words at the end and see if you can find some of the social media profiles for some of these companies. If you find one of them, go follow them on multiple platforms and then go into their followers and see who they follow. There might be somebody that works for the company there and you might be able to get a little more direct access. That way you can just go through the followers and look and see who's there. Once again, do not spam them. Try to build genuine relationships with people. Don't immediately reach out and say, hey, I wanna send you some tracks. Try to you know, comment on some of their posts, interact with them for a little bit to try to see if you can build up that engagement. If this fails as well, don't be afraid to go to Google and then type in the company's name with LinkedIn after it, because then you might get some people that pop up on LinkedIn with that work within the company, and you can try to network with them there. This is a great way to do it. Make sure you have a professional looking LinkedIn. These are all kind of just blanket techniques that can possibly work for you to get in the door with some of these people. They get a ton of submissions as well, so don't be discouraged if they do not answer. That happens a lot of times and it's nothing to even do with you, but I need to get a big old drum set in here for the drum rolls because that was not dramatic at all. The moment you've been waiting for though, what are some good websites and companies that actually do this what you're looking for? So first one I have is Extreme Music. This is one of the better ones. They place a lot of TV and, and film stuff, a lot of different channels for different reality, all types of things like that. There's not currently a submission form on their page, but there's a lot of ways to get in touch, especially some of the ways I talked about. My next one, jinglepunks.com. Same type of site as Extreme Music. 
It plays a lot of different jingles, a lot of different songs on different TV and film placements for Netflix, all types of stuff like that. Once again, reach out to them, try to find their way to connect with them through social media. My next site is artlist.io. They don't maybe do as much TV and film syncing stuff. They do some stuff like that, but they place in a lot of commercials, graphics for social media, all types of different things that you could find your music on there for. It's a great way to just get your music out more and you never know who may be looking for what. My next one is the Made series. These are some former producers that have a really good company now that place a lot of TV and film stuff. You can find them. Their website is a little wonky at times, but there's a lot of social media for them out there. Get to looking. One after that, soundstripe.com. They place music in the same thing, a lot of jingles, a lot of commercials, a lot of small gaming things. Whole bunch of reasons people go to their site to look for music, so definitely don't sleep on it. My next one's placeit.net. They do the same thing. They place their music in a lot of different YouTube intros, animated graphics. There's probably some commercial use, all different types of stuff. This is a great way to get your music out and probably get paid for it. My next one is First Com Music. They're a pretty big branch that places a lot of gaming music, TV and film as well. I'm pretty sure they're part of Universal if I remember correctly. Check them out. There's a lot of different ways to try to get in contact with them using social media as well. And then the last and probably most debated of all is Taxi.com. This is probably my least favorite of all of them, but it's also the easiest to get on because you pay and you pay a subscription every time you, you submit. Taxi is a debatable one. I like it, I'm not totally against it. I definitely think it is pricing. If you don't have a budget set aside and you don't think your music is fully TV film ready, you're probably gonna end up wasting a lot of money, but I wanted to include it just so you can do your research on it. Hope these tips help. Please like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend something. Let me know what y'all think of the new setup and new stuff I'm doing. I'm just kind of building the channel up. I really appreciate y'all checking me out. A lot of videos coming, a lot more things coming. 